Thank you. As well as great performances and orchestra and choirs, we're going to think something about songwriting, Christian songwriting, not only in the future, not only today, but what's been happening over the last 30 years or so. 20 years ago in the 80s, we had the pleasure of working with the uh, Christian songwriter Graham Kendrick, and we did a couple of uh, Kendrick collections live, which go on being uh, very popular and giving people inspiration. But we wanted to look at today's writers. In the second half, we have uh, Chris Eaton joining us, but now, what a joy to have, in just a moment, Stuart Townend, who I think you would agree is one of the foremost writers, not only of beautiful poetry, beautiful theology, but expressed in a way that the heart wants to have great play as we sing these wonderful words, how deep the Father's love, image of invisible God. Another one we're going to do now, beautiful Savior. So we thought we would serenade Stuart Townend into the stage. Why don't we sing this lovely song as an audience together? Maybe, ladies and gentlemen, you'd like to stand as we sing All My Days, and I imagine by the end of it, having been so inspired by your wonderful singing, Stuart Townend will appear <laughs> to sing and speak to us even more. Ladies and gentlemen, all my days I will sing a song of gladness. Here's the orchestral introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Stuart Townend. Oh, 
to see the dawn of the darkest day. Christ on the road to Calvary, tried by sinful man, torn and beaten then, nailed to a cross of wood. This the power of the cross. Christ became sin for us, took the blame.
Thank you very much. Well, uh, I really do count it a great privilege to be here this evening, and uh, it's wonderful. It's not often you get an opportunity to actually sing uh, some of the songs with a magnificent orchestra, uh, a fantastic choir, uh, a cast of virtually thousands uh, to, uh, to sing these songs, and it is wonderful. It's a wonderful experience for me, uh, and I'm really uh, glad to be part of, uh, of it. Um, just thinking about that song, uh, probably a lot of the songs and, or hymns or whatever you want to call them uh, I've written over the last few years, some on my own but some with, with um, a, a close friend of mine, Keith Getty. Um, really one of the things we've been trying to do is put content back into the worship songs that we sing um, because we think it's very important that we sing truth. It's very important that we know the truth and one of the great ways of learning and knowing the truth, the truth that we can live by and stand on as Christians is actually to sing. The truth. So that's something that is very dear to my heart and very important. Um, and also, we're trying to write songs actually sometimes that tell the story. Um, because again, it's good to think through the story of, uh, of uh, the death, resurrection of Christ. But the great stories, the great themes of the gospel, it's important that we remind ourselves of them. And it's also a great way of introducing people who don't know that story. Um, it's a very non-threatening way of sharing the gospel with people to actually sing songs that tell the story of what Jesus has done for us. Um, here's a, a, a song I wrote a few years ago um, that uh, really just explores, in a way it does tell the story as well, but it kind of explores what it must have cost the father to give up his son as a sacrifice. And really that's what this song is, is about and what it cost him and why he went to the cross for us. How deep the Father's love. How deep the Father's love for us. Sing with me. How vast beyond all measure that he to give his only son to make a wretch his treasure how great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to
Fantastic stuff. Thank you. Stuart, everybody. Well, what ideas Stuart keeps under that hat of his. <laughs> it's a hymn that is one of the great hymns of uh, recent times, and uh, I'm sure we can guarantee will go on being sung and used as a real blessing and source of inspiration for people.